Welcome back to the Red Dirt Road Podcast. I'm your host, Marshall Farnsworth. We're here with Mylon Dunwoody and, as always, Alex Breitenbach. How's it going? We, Hello. Um, we got a guest here today. Um, having some technical difficulties. We'll see if, uh, if he's able to join us later. Um, how have you guys been? We've been pretty good. I've been just, good. Just chowing down on some tacos. Oh, yeah. Getting ready to. We're obviously um, all quarantined. Um, I got a question for you guys. How is the hair looking? Top of the head and facial facial hair. I'm getting a mullet. Uh, facial hair, I got I got none. I have specific family genes that don't give me any facial hair. But <laughs> um, I, I, I hey, guess we're related. Me, but we're now I can tell you I can facial the facial hair. The hair that I have on me, I've been growing for about three months. So before quarantine, okay. <laughs> no, nah, but. My hair, on the other hand, my hair, I have I have the hockey playoff cabbage. <laughs> that's, that's what I got right now. Jeez. I have a Morgan Wallen. hockey Wallen playoff on. cabbage. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Well, you know, let me tell you. I, you know, I, I, I was doing some experimenting with the facial hair at the beginning. Kind of had a mustache. Uh, please then don't. Said, please you know don't. What? <laughs> then I just said, you know what? I just I'm I'm growing it out. I in my I have not had a haircut in about a month and a half. All right. And the facial hair has not been shaved or trimmed uh, much at all in, in about a month. So we all look like and, we're uh, under a bridge for a good amount of time. Yeah. You know what? I mean, why why not? There's I barely see the sunlight. I'm basically a, a hermit at this point. Right. <laughs> I mean, um, yeah. And just basically go full Neanderthal there. <laughs> yeah. Flint see, and rock the, makes spark. I, I was actually growing out the neck beard. No, the no, rare no, no, no. only neck no, 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 no. <laughs> That's my thing. Because, <laughs> um, I I've been I've been thinking about it for a long time and so I this was the one of the only instances where I was actually able to pull it off. And you're not gonna be in front of kids. I was, <laughs> where I was seeing no civilization. Mm. So I tried it for about ten days and it itched and I shaved it after <laughs> yeah. ten days. Yeah, that, can, that was my I limit. Can imagine. <laughs> It was it was quite awful. Mm. I thought it would be easier because you just just don't do anything, but it was it was worse than shaving it. Ooh. Yeah. So um yeah, wanted to see how others are doing with that. Um NFL draft going on right now. Uh I'm a big Cleveland Browns fan. Alex, big New York Giants fan. Yeah. How did you like the uh, the pick? I I didn't get it. You know what? I'm gonna be honest. I did not watch it. I got the the, the most I I learned about the draft was seeing their Instagram pictures of "Welcome to Big Blue" like such so and so, and I have no idea who they got. Oh man, you don't got ABC? No, unfortunately <laughs> uh, no. no. I don't got cable. No, you gotta go. You guys got cable? No. We have Hulu. <laughs> this is what you gotta do. Go down to Target. Get a TV antenna, twenty bucks. That's what I got. I got an antenna. You can get. Uh, you just set it up, hook it up to your TV. Well, you and, also uh, live in. The I city. got ABC. Yeah, I mean, you don't. I mean, it, it's got a. You can get ones that are better for a certain mileage, but. Mm. I mean, mm. uh, it it should work. Most most plate like I mean, as long as you're not middle of nowhere, like you guys are. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you're not like in you know i don't know middle of nowhere alaska it, it should it should get yeah, you, yeah, it, it should, should get fun. you some they don't know what football is so i you know one comment one last comment on the draft the guy that i actually wanted the browns to pick up was the guy the giants drafted oh. that so um and well, when likes somebody, that means they're good <laughs> yeah that means they're really good I've done I've done decently well with my picks. Only football past. I'm into is the football that we played at um, Marshall's grandma's house. Yep, <laughs> that's about it. I remember that? Mm. It was a good game. That that was that was a real. That was like mid work. I, I was I, working I and I called off work for like a minute <laughs> and went back to work. Somewhere in there, I got in my notebook the score of that game, and let me tell you, Mylan was in there for a little while, and then Alex was in. Oh God, I was I got on the my other team with there. I was with Alex's dad, my uncle, and um, we we were tearing people up. I got whiplash. Alex's sister, I was with with his family and my girlfriend. We just tore you guys up. 
I think your dad had about two interception returns for yeah, he, had, he had two pick sixes. It was it, it was unexpected. I thought we had the 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 I, I thought we were the underdogs there, having the older guy and two girls with with the only person remotely uh, kind of knowing football. Well, guys and, don't want to hit girls. That's true. Oh yeah, they, yeah, they were they were quicker, stronger than you guys. <laughs> yeah. Because last time I put my hands on a woman, just kidding. I'm joking. Whoa. All right, my, <laughs> moving on from that. that, that, that <laughs> <laughs> get to this. Uh, get to this. About song. the only job I can get right uh, now is working for podcast. Just kidding. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ronnie Dunn, you never crossed my mind. Uh, 1983 single on vinyl. It was the B side. It seems uh, of the last song that we did, it's written all over your face. This song was a, is actually, I like this song more than the last one. There's no real information on this song that I can find. So I don't think that it uh, really peaked too well, but I, I kind of like it. It was a little bit quicker and uh, I kind of, I, I like the song. Uh, what did you guys think of it? I Honestly, I... I... Definitely thought it was better than the last one. I was trying to That's... figure out what word he was saying in the beginning. Was it sip? Was it accept? Was it silk? But it's accept. Yeah. <laughs> I wrote down all the lyrics in it. I <laughs> nice. do it like seven times. <laughs> nice. When he can't find the lyrics painstakingly, he's write it all down. I did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Mylon here, um, just moments before, actually, while we started recording, uh, called me and said that he wrote down all the lyrics. There's no lyrics up online for the song, so I need to publish them online. Them. Yeah, you should. You yeah. should. You got to go like uh, what, what, what's that? ABC ABC lyrics or, or A to Z lyrics? That's what that is. Yeah, yeah. Just just go write them lyrics up there. But That's I think too much work. <laughs> yeah. No, but I think it's a it's definitely a big improvement on the last song I, i'm you know what it's it seems to me that there's more information on the last song we covered it's written all over your face comparative to this one i mean in spite of the fact that i honestly think that this one is better like you never crossed my mind is basically again it's another ballad you never want to slow dance to mm-hmm. like it, it's kind of like a feel like a sad boy hours song yeah like, like you know, a funeral you, yep. yeah you're, you're just like down like down in the dumps because like at this point, like your girlfriend left you, but at the same time, you're down in the dumps, but you're confident that it's gonna get better. Like, like, like I think Ronnie Dunn's message is like, oh, well, you like, in spite of everything, like, you know, except for these specific times, like, I'm having a good old time. Like, you never cross my mind. Like when he lays down and tries to sleep at night. Except for that, he said. It- Except in the evenings when I come home. Except when I lay down and try to sleep at night. You never cross my mind. Except when the postman comes or a telephone rings. Except, he says except a lot. Except when I look in the mirror I think, and see my tear-filled yeah. eyes. But then again, I think he's sad again in this song. Mm. All right, yeah, what, what he's saying is like, yeah, you only cross my mind except this. But then he says it a bunch of times. So really, he's... I, I think he's he's trying to get over a girl, but he's like, you cross my mind in all these times. Yeah, so, that's true. Yeah, it's it's got it's got a little bit more. I think I think we're we're hearing from this. This song sounds more like a Brooks and Dunn. It does. I I it's think got, it does. It's got more, a little bit more of a punch. Mm-hmm. You know, the last song very slow, very kind of old song type. You know, this one a little bit more modern. Oh sounding. yeah, I liked it. More. No, I think this is definitely. Uh, you know, Mylon, um, I don't I don't know how the listeners liked the you know the 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 crying song, but <laughs> if you have any take on the lyrics this time that Yeah, I can go I can go over I, them for you at the parts that stick out more to me and what what parts of this song stuck out um, to you? He he really likes for some reason he talked about the postman. I don't know why. Maybe the postman is the reason for the last song. <laughs> but uh, I, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's kind of saying like that's a, very, that's a very normal thing that happens. The postman shows up and he just thinks of this woman, <laughs> or if he's saying, I mean, or if it's maybe something deeper. Like, she left him for the postman. This guy, 
Oh no, yeah. that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know. I mean, but yeah. he's th- he's uh, in that emotional state again because in the second cor- excuse me, in the second <laughs> chorus, sorry, um, he said, "Except when I wake myself up, calling out your name." Except, there's a lot of accepts. Except when I go where we, where we're used to going, nothing seems the same except when I forget and pour two glasses of wine. So he's Ooh. still so he's still caught yeah, he's, with her, he's, and he's still posting. I'm not posting. He's still pouring glasses of wine because either he's on. He's. I'm not Roddy Dunn. I'm not insulting you. Either you're on drugs or you're just really forgetful. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. when a man starts drinking wine, that's when I say he's oh, heartbroken. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, you don't see a man drinking wine. Absolutely. Unless it's purple haze. All right. you know, that that, that drink, reminds me wine. of um, that UB40 song. And I, I don't mean to digress into pop music, but it's like red, red wine. <laughs> red, mm. red wine. Tell you what, I don't know if it's a song, but I always thought it was my favorite Christmas song. You, what? <laughs> is, what? Is no. It a Christmas no. Song? Red, Talking about, red, I mean, red. Wine. Red is a. It's not Christmas. No, it's it's not more like a, let me sit and smoke a doobie type of song. Yes, yes, it's yeah. I, you know, I heard it from one person that it was a Christmas song, and I continue. <laughs> it's to beginning to look a lot like that. red, red wine. <laughs> I mean, red. Red is a popular color in yeah, Christmas. Red, green, and white. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That about wraps it up with the uh, "You Never Crossed My Mind" single. Uh, we're going to be back. Um, I believe another Ronnie Dunn song coming up soon. Um, at some point, maybe have a take a break and have a country classic kind of kind of review. But um, yeah, until next week, this is the Red Dirt Road Podcast. Uh, signing off. We'll see you guys soon. Have a good night.